Hi, thanks for joining me once again. I'm going to be showing you 5-1 Spot Lace today. If you are new to pick up, please watch the videos on using pick up sticks and installing a heddle rod. You will need to know both of those to complete this pattern. Now, if you're unsure when you're trying to follow the pick up pattern, which I will list underneath this video, uh, I'll just quickly demonstrate in the down position so you can get an idea of what the pickup for this is going to look like because it's a little bit different so for stick A we're going to do four up four down so four up is four on top of the stick and two down is two underneath four up two down and continue right across the warp Okay, so you can see it's going to be a bit of a different pattern. This is a weft float pattern. You'll see what I mean about that in a minute. So you have your pickup stick there. You can then turn it on its side and transfer it to the back as I've shown in the other pickup stick video. So definitely have a look at that if you are not sure. All right, let's start. We're going to start step one. There are quite a few steps in working this pattern but none of them are difficult just make sure you've got it written down beside you so it's easy to follow so the first one is up now the second one is you place the heddle in neutral and bring pick up stick A forward and turn it on its side so remember this here is my pick up stick B that I've got on the heddle rod don't worry about that, that's not going to get in your way for now. Now you'll see that when I work this pick, that the pattern that I just showed you before with the pickup stick is there. Okay. Then we put the stick flat again and push it to the back. That's pickup stick A. Back into up position. And then repeat what you just did back into neutral bring pick up stick a forward and place it on its side to give you this interesting pattern here put it flat again and push it back then we go up And down and then we're ready to go on to pick up stick B so that's the first part of the sequence for pick up stick A so we'll go up now into neutral again this time pick up stick B a little bit fiddlier because you have to lift this and put your stick shuttle through at the same time okay just check your edges there and up again it's basically a fair bit of repetition with um, each stick and then pick up stick B again so you're going to lift that up mm, I'm getting stuck just fiddle with that edge make sure it's right up again and then down so 
So if you can see what we've got now that we've finished that first part of the sequence, we've got some floats running across. So these floats are all from pickup stick A and these are our pickup stick B floats here. And I really like this pattern because it once you've worked uh, a few inches of it, it looks almost like a honeycomb effect. It's pretty cool. So we'll work another sequence. So we're in up again. So we're back to the um, pick up stick A sequence. Up. If I'm going too fast, remember you can slow your video down. That's an option on YouTube. Bring pick up stick A forward and turn it on its side. And flatten it and push it back again and then we do that again up and heddle in neutral pick up stick A forward and on its side push that back again and then up and then down then we're ready to move on to the pick up stick B sequence so up Pedal in neutral, pick up stick B up, and up again, and pick up stick B up again. And then up. And then down. So for this pattern, even though there are 12 steps, it's really quite repetitive so that it gets set in your memory pretty fast and you'll find that you won't need to refer to your notes so much. Now the thing that I really like about this pattern and one of the reasons that I'm showing you is that it gives great possibilities for surface embroidery um, which I'm going to be showing you in the next video as a companion to this video um, because it has the floats sitting above the surface that means that you can bring in other threads and do some interesting things there you can bring in ribbon or whatever else you want to bring in something glittery and nice um, it just increases the possibilities of what you can do. So it looks pretty cool on its own. Like I said, it's got this kind of honeycomb effect. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but uh, I quite like that. So if you're interested in doing some surface embroidery, and it's not hard if you haven't done embroidery before, that's fine. You just need a tapestry needle, and uh, I'll show you what to do. So I hope to see you for that video as well.